Hello everyone, my name is Pellicent Moon and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 8. I've been doing a little bit of work on the lighthouse. As you can see, I've already started doing a little bit of interior. These windows also weren't here before I had to kind of fill them in with some glass, but I have been getting to work on some of the interior so this place is actually livable because, you know, we can't keep living in our starter base when we have this giant building here. So as you can see, I have this kind of little library slash enchanting level. Let's not talk about the fact that the enchanting table isn't actually really usable by any means, but it looks pretty and that, that's what matters, right? That That's what matters? Yeah, yeah, I thought so too. We've got this cute little table in the middle with a tiny little, little, little redstone lamp head. I thought it was super, super cute that I got from a trader. And we've also got this really cool like smithing table roof because the underside of the smithing tables they're like a maroon type of color and i thought it went pretty well with the the red walls we have going on so this is currently in progress i do have to figure out how to get some lighting in here we were kind of thinking like something on the roof but i've got to work that out maybe some glow berries or something you know but there is a lot of torches for now just to stop these uh, little pesky mobs from spawning but i think it looks pretty nice and you come upstairs and you've got this nice little kind of balcony like view i do want to put some like lecterns or something i don't know as a railing but for now it's kind of cute don't know what to put up here yet but we'll figure it out and you can look out here and look you know look outside into a uh, bodum unfortunately the uh, server render distance doesn't really carry the view too far uh, but even if i turned off my fog it still wouldn't get much further than this so it's, it's kind of cool for now, at least. It's something. It's something. And look, we can see Scars Mountain next door, which apparently has some new signs. I think we need to investigate that. Give a little bit of a fly. Now, I also have been working on the base itself. So the back of the base is also looking a little bit nicer now. It's got some more of the uh, blocks in, just like the front. There is some still missing here and there, but it's, it's definitely getting there. All these poles are brown now. They're all wooded up. Uh, that still needs to change to a different texture, but otherwise we're looking pretty good. If you hop around to the front here, you can also see that the bottom of the boats are now in blackstone, and I think it uh, makes for a lot nicer contrast, in my opinion. So the lotus is coming together as well. And it looks like we have our own sign too. I think this is the work of Scar at this point. Scar has gone and finished his mountain, and look at this. It is absolutely massive. And you know what? We have to merge all of the terrain pieces together so that it all kind of fits in. We've got to extend my mountain exactly where that sign is built. Gonna build that up, join it up with scars, and I think Green is also going to finish his mountain as well. There is some signs here. Hello. Can I look at these signs? Pearl build here. Okay, so this is also my spot apparently. So we've got my spot, and then I'm guessing Green's is down there. Oh, no, even that one is mine down there. That one is in glow squid ink. That one's, that one's a special one, apparently. <laughs> okay, and I'm guessing all those are for Greed. So we've got our own signs for us to extend the terrain. Scar, I love it. I absolutely love it. Fantastic. However, unfortunately, we're not going to be building that in this episode because we have a lot of other things that I've already had planned. But just know, we will be extending this terrain maybe in a couple episodes' time. <laughs> One of the first things we need to get to is our shop that kind of has been sitting there for so long and we've noticed that throughout the season, you know, it's kind of been generating less and less diamonds. And, you know, part of me is thinking maybe people aren't shopping here because we have a big scary, scary green dude at the front. Honestly, I'm surprised that hasn't blown up yet at this point. Actually, uh, no! Okay, uh, legit, that was, I, <laughs> that, was, that was not intentional. I promise that was not planned. I did not think I was close enough to the creeper for that. I was just about to say, I think it had blown up because there were some blocks missing in that spot. Like I had a whole bunch of barrels and stuff there and they were missing. I think it had blown up before and I've just gone and done even more damage and looks like I've made a hole in my boat. But I think someone had blown that up. But I've just made more damage for myself. Okay, I don't know how another one managed to get in there, but all right, I guess I guess that happened. I'm glad my llamas are okay. That is the 15th slot llama. We can't be losing that guy. Look, the other one's down here. He's just chilling. Seed llama. Hi, buddy. 
So let's just ignore the fact that I did blow a little bit of a hole in my boat. I will, I will fix that later. It's fine. But we'll try to take a look at our sails. So, so we've made three diamonds in the name tags. That's actually pretty good. It's not too bad. But I don't think I have sold anything else, which is a little bit concerning. Not even the tinted glass. So we kind of need to maybe get working on that. I think we need to be selling something new, something fresh that people might want. And I'm kind of thinking netherites, maybe? You know, people keep dying and they keep having diamond armor. Maybe they want to be upgrading their armor with some easy to get netherite. Could be something that we can do. But one of the other things that I do need to do is actually bring back the Lamada because they've been out for quite a while now. And they've made a little bit of diamonds, but nothing super substantial. I think the stock that I've put in there, you know, is kind of getting a little bit dusty at this point. You know, it's dusty to the point you can put a smiley face in it. So we need to bring back all of the Lamada and probably try a bit of a reform with that one. All right, there we go. The sweet little babies are all back home again, except for one. I know Jim kind of wanted to buy some supplies from the one that I had in hers and she kind of gave it a little nice home in the stables. So I decided to leave that one there for just a little bit longer. But the rest are now back home in front of our boat for the uh, little bit of a reform, I would say. Honestly, I'm not too sure what to do yet, but maybe we can think of something in the future once again for the Lamada to also do with the other uh, 15 slot llamas uh, that we didn't actually end up using from beat ups. They're just still chilling. They're, they're doing their thing. However, as you can see, I, I have a few little extra surprises in my inventory. While I was getting the Lamada back, I did also decide to do a little bit of mining in the nether, and I got a whole bunch of netherite that we can sell. It's not much. I got nine netherite ingots and three debris, but it's something. It, you know, maybe we can sell it. I kind of, I had, I asked my fellow hermits a little bit to see what kind of prices could work for netherite. And in conclusion, 20 diamonds for one ingot seem to be the kind of go-to. And yes, I'm going to use the cheap debris to be the uh, the price marker here because, you know, 20 diamonds, I'm not going to spend it on a label. It's fine. <laughs> we are going to rename this barrel. I'm deciding to move my books over to just a, a random barrel off to the side because let's face it, they're not really selling. And there is more competition on the server for books than there is in the Minecraft championships. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. Let's see if that one is going to sell. I really hope so because the rest of my shop really isn't selling. Now, to be fair, oh, you know, I was going to say, to be fair, I made some diamonds on the Lamada while bringing them back. I found out I had about nine diamonds in the Lamada itself, but it looks like we have another three in here and we're all completely sold out of glass. I'm going to have to get that restocked yet again. Well, I think at least glass seems to be the seller here. That is something to keep in mind. Speaking of making sales, it appears like we have some newly built our hourglasses in Bodom. So Green has informed us that he's made these absolutely wonderful hourglasses here that we can put our diamonds into. So the diamonds that we earn in Bodom, we're just going to stick them right in here and we'll be able to see who has the most diamonds by the end of the season from all of our shops and mining and all that kind of good stuff. Or the competition will just come here and be absolutely intimidated by the fact that we have so many diamonds. Either one is fine. With all that being said, let's just add our straight in there, shall we? We've got a little bit to add, 64 blocks and another five diamond blocks. I'll keep these diamonds on me and to be actually, to be honest, I'll just add the stack because I might need the five to, you know, buy some things from other shops for a little bit for all the builds I'm doing. But for now, we can add the, uh, the stack inside it. It seems to be a little bit deceiving at first because not only is there the hourglasses up here, but it also looks like it goes beneath the ground. Those are some major big tube. Look at all those diamonds. Green, you're rich, my dude. You're absolutely rich. And then we got Impulse over here also making a pretty decent, uh, decent stack of diamonds in there. Hmm, I'm just going to put mine in and see how much of an impact we can make. Well, I think it's pretty safe to say we're not really winning the diamond uh, war here, are we? We're second place by the looks of it, if we compare our diamonds to impulses, but um, I think we got a little bit of a long way to go before we beat our uh, body hole power green down there, but we're doing all right, all things considered.
You know what, though? If we really want to see Bowden become successful and fill those hourglasses to the brim, we really need to get kicked into high gear here. What we currently have is a bunch of shops pretty much all over Bowden. And you know what we don't have? We don't have a layout, which is my job. The big thing in layouts and deciding where on earth we want everything to go is the paths. So I have been looking over Bowden for quite some time from the air, just trying to work out how on earth we're going to lay this place out. We need to get these paths going and in order so that people know where on earth they're going and that they can navigate Bodum nice and easily. And of course, one of the first big things that we need to do is attach Impulse's base to the rest of Bodum and link it all up properly. I see Scar is also working on linking up his area to Bodum as well, which is absolutely fantastic. We also have to link up the G train with a little bit of a bit more of a path than just a, a dead stop. But I see Green's kind of working on that area, so I might not touch it too much. And then, of course, probably continuing this path down this way all the way to the Bodum Incorporated Hourglasses. Not only that, though, but we also need to establish a better portal than one that is oddly covered in bone blocks and has seemingly has no importance in Bodum itself when it probably really should be if it's going to be a way for people to actually get here. With all that in mind, we also have to consider the fact that we want to put some extra shops in Bodum, because I know, I think Impulse wants to move a couple of his shops over there to probably a little bit further central Bodum. I'm assuming Mumbo probably wants to expand his a little bit as well. I think Scar wants to get more shops in there too. And of course, I want to move my boat in a little bit further and maybe kind of expand what I'm selling a little bit. So we're going to be making some really big, thick paths off to each of the bases and then some little kind of spidery paths off to the side to go through all of the different shops. With all that said, I'm just going to get started on the nitty gritty work of laying out all these paths and I shall bring you guys back in afterwards. This, this is what pain looks like. Oh man, I literally spend maybe upwards of an hour putting all the paths in, looking all nice and clean. I, you know, took out all of the torches and replaced them with some shroom lights with some moss carpet for now. And then you've got green. You, th this was not like this last time I was here, which was earlier today. He's gone and hopped on, seen everything I've done over there and decided to place torches everywhere because he knows just how much I don't like these things. Why must he torture me so? Ah, yeah, you see, uh, torture. <laughs> oh no, that was bad. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, that pun was very much on the fly and just completely out of the blue, but I think we need to kind of, you know, solidify it so he can cringe just as much at this pun as I do at the amount of torches. He's just absolutely spammed everywhere. This is what happens, Green. This, this is what happens. Nah, no, 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 cool. This is what happens, Green, when you challenge me with torches. And you know what? I'm going to get rid of all of them. They're not going to stay here. They're going to be gone, replaced. No torches. I have been breaking torches for 30 minutes. You know what? Not really, but it certainly feels like it. Ah, oh, that's better. Beautiful. No, to I mean, you know, there's a couple of torches around the place, which are on my own mountain. They'll be removed eventually, but Look how much better this looks. I don't know why that man likes torches, but he, he do what he do, I guess. I, there is a few that I've kind of left around because they're in really weird spots. But, you know, all you really need is shroom light, right? Just shroom light? Yeah, just shroom light. Maybe with a few extra torches mixed in. I can't be bothered doing it all. There's so much here. It's fine. This is fine. Look how many stacks of torches I have in my inventory. What on earth? That must have taken a while to place. Crikey, mate. Anyway, now that that is over and sorted with, let me show you guys the uh, the paths that I did. So, of course, they're not really decorated right now. They don't have, you know, all the coarse dirt around the edges, but they are laid out now so that people can kind of start building their shops or decorating their own little areas. Uh, what we really do need in Bodum is actually some trees. So I'm hoping we get to do a few more of those down the line, but at least we have now a good, decent size or an idea of how the land is going to be laid out in Bodum. We've got all these little plots here that people can do some buildings in and just fill up the space. And of course, the old portal was also here that has now since been moved and we've stuck it here instead. Now, it's quite a large portal right now, but we thought this would be a really good place to, you know, kind of put the portal 
And then when they come out of it, they'll have a straight uh, viewpoint of the, uh, the Bowdoin Pole here or the Bowdoin Hole. They'll walk out and they'll be able to see the shopping district basically right in front of them. And of course, behind them, whichever way they decide to come out, even if they come out this end, then they'll be able to walk that way down to the G train. So it kind of works out. It's not going to stay like this though. We do have to do a little bit of decoration and make this thing look beautiful. Boop, we've got a portal. Simple as that, easy done. It's not a complicated design. It didn't take me too long at all. And it also looks like the uh, portal is already being used by some visitors. So hey, my tactic is working. Bodum is feeling already warm welcoming as it is. But all there is to it is just a little bit of a rocky border to kind of symbolize the mountains that we have in Bodum. And of course, what is Bodum without a boat? Who's that? It's Mumbo. Look, hi Mumbo. Look at that. All the visitors. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Beautiful, but yeah, we got this little boat to represent Bonum up on top of it. It's so cute. I love it. I don't know whether it's too simple or whether it needs to be a bit more loud and proud, but I think for now, this will definitely do the job. Now that the portal is done though, we've got to get straight on cracking to yet another task for today's episode. Both Corrales and I are ready to kick into high gear on Cogsworth Manor and uh, do the next step in the heist. It has taken a little bit. I apologize, guys, that the heist has kind of taken this long. It wasn't intentional. It's not intended there to build up the hype or anything. But it has taken a little bit long because we got to, you know, everybody's got to be online. Everybody's got to be available. I got to be able to build with Corrales. You know, lots of things kind of just build up to it. But we're ready to go now. So we're going to go meet up with Corrales and uh, get kicking with the next stage of the heist. And hopefully be able to pull that off soon and get a whole bunch of beat ups as clocks. This is going to be fantastic. Neighbors, everybody is good neighbors, and that's when neighbors Rallis. become <laughs> best friends. Oh, there he is. Oh, jeez, okay, hi. The, oh, how I haven't missed the neighbor's theme song. Hello. I haven't missed your face either, thank you very much. <laughs> Pearl. That is the Aussie National uh, Anthem. No, it's not the Aussie Neighbors. National Anthem. Neighbors is terrible. It is. Don't you dare Googled, say it's National Google Anthem. Google doesn't lie. You've Googled Google it. doesn't lie. Google does lie. Bro, that, that is not a National Anthem. Well, sometimes. But you know what doesn't lie? What? Is, is Your my, eyes? My sense for clocks. I miss them in my clocks. life. My eyes don't lie. <laughs> my eyes are beautiful. They don't hey. lie. They never lie. No, they don't lie. Don't forget about my eyes. Yeah, I don't Bro. want to look into your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. But yeah, you said Come something back. about clocks, look, right? Look. <laughs> I've missed them in my life. That's the only thing I missed at this stage in my life, and that is Beat Ups Originals. Mm -hmm. We need it. We've built this like some time ago now, and it's probably time <laughs> to, you know, maybe start influencing some things, right? Um, I think it's time. I think it's time. It's we time? have to do the interior. That's we do have to do the interior. Suck a little that's, bit. that's gonna hurt. Pearl, hmm. Pearl, ideas. Question, yes? question. Yes. Question. Your eyes how, are wide. How about we go? They are wide open. How about we go underground instead? That's gonna make it, make it a little bit easier for ourselves. To be right? honest, I much prefer no? yeah. digging. I mean, we can expand like in astronomical <laughs> levels underground. We're mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. like limited in the actual mansion itself. But well, you know what? We can't just leave it empty though, right? If we're digging underground, mm -hmm. we can make the entrance through the mansion. And look at the well too. The well like goes down, so we could dig mm. down underground with the well. We can make a few entrances potentially. I so we, love it. We think of like I a labyrinth it. or something, like some sort of mm -hmm. adventure game for beat ups. An amazing maze. Uh huh. And then he's gonna he's gonna like use his clocks to enter this, right? Yes. Uh, <laughs> lots of it. And I can be seeing neighbors for you. For no, hours and hours. please don't see neighbors. me. Neighbors. No, no. Okay, I think we should just get it started before you go crazy with neighbors. Okay. I don't need this. Thank you very much. Ah, I'm calling down. This is fine. Don't, don't leave me. Pearl, let's get cracking. Okay, let's get building before you sing more neighbors. This is fine. <laughs> Everybody let's go back. Come back, Pearl. Corrales, mm -hmm. how many times did you die while we were building the thing? H how many times? I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to talk, you, don't want to talk about it. Sure? Five. You, you gotta tell. Five? Five. 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 <laughs> and how many times five. did you lose your Five. Stuff? 
twice. <laughs> <laughs> I have not died at all building this, and you managed to die five times. Yeah, I'm not the In greatest at the game. Confidence. Um, I, I do this for a living. I love it. So, so okay, okay, Pearl. Uh, mm -hmm. This is absolutely breathtaking. So, okay, so we built down there, right? Mm -hmm. And Ooh. and 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 what we did. This is kind of inspired, like, uh, from my season six base, which is sewer system. Yes, yes. And and it looks it looks great and. There's five beautiful puzzle rooms, right? Uh, yes, we've done to explore. Five. They're not like the we've decorated them. We haven't done like the puzzles in them just yet, but they'll be all done by the time we lead V Dubs through. But we're gonna kind of show you guys. How about you know? How about we just do a tour? Let's just show them through the thing. What do you reckon? Let's just yeah, you jump down first because I'm gonna you die. First. You just, you just go down. No, <laughs> I swear, one of these days, neighbors, <laughs> no, everybody. Don't touch this. <laughs> so you feel like I kind of just deserve kidding, that. Kidding, 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 kidding. Okay, you, you go down first. You go down first. There we go. But that is lava below there. That could have been even worse. <laughs> no. It's straight up this. though. Look at this pearl. This is the first. This <laughs> is the first room, straight up. And you know what? Before we go and do a tour around these. Can we get, you know, we're going to name every single room that we walk into. We want to know in the comments below what you guys think each of these rooms is going to do and what beatups is going to have to kind of go through and what reward he's going to get by the end of it. We're going to go through one by one. And the first one is, well, let's just call it the lava room and the bouncing horses room. I love them. I love them so much. I hate this room. This is this is my worst nightmare. You I hate... died twice over here. Oh, <laughs> it's only your worst yeah. nightmare because of the jumpy jumps. But you love the horses. That was your idea. I can't. I can't claim <laughs> that one. It's absolutely horrible, but it. it's hilarious at the same time. I love it. <laughs> He's gonna love it. He's gonna absolutely love it. However, look at this guy. This horse is different. One of these is not like the other. No. <laughs> that's, mm. not a, that's as, that's as <laughs> horse as uh, Mumbo's donkey. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, this room, I don't, we don't want to spoil, I don't want to spoil it too much. Yeah, right? no spoilers. But obviously, this is, this is a little bit obvious what this room mm -hmm. will be in the future, right? But yeah. uh, but let's not spoil it. Let's not spoil it. There's a few Shall little hidden on? secrets in there that we haven't told them, but no spoilers. I think we should go to room number two. <laughs> but look at this, though. You walk around the corner. And you've got the sewer and system. Bam. Look at this. this and is we, this breathtaking? We've got Sam. We can't forget Sam. Hi, Sam. Let's check this out. we got <laughs> Sam the fish going through all the water right now. we got lush green everywhere with a little, little bit of deep slate mixed in. A little bit of contrasty. Yeah, this and was super easy to build. Excuse me? N no. Corollas? <laughs> no. This was not easy to build. Thank you very oh. much. <laughs> this was terrible. It was simple in my face. I'd rather but yeah, build this, is, it was, this, was, this was terrible. It's this was terrible. So there are so many times. blocks combinations going back and forth, back and forth, picking up blocks. Uh, this is bad. Like, and anyhow, so a room two mm -hmm. over here. Room number two. We're going to call this room <gasps> the Corollas room. <gasps> This is what so this is what nightmares look like, and um, excuse me. This is cursed by every means, every means possible. You saying this is a face only a mom could love? No, it's not. It's a beautiful face. I am face. saying that. I am saying. No matter Carlos. what it's, you it's say, that, that it's is, horrifying. That. Who would? Who wants this face? I, I look. Okay, your face is one thing, but then you merge mine into it, and that's not very pleasant, in my opinion. <laughs> right. Well, let's just say. Okay, we've got you know a couple of faces peering behind the eyes, and we have two buttons. And a little bit of lava. That's all the uh, spoilerage we're going to give you guys. What do you guys reckon? Yeah. Let us know. Let us know what you think this room is all about. I think we should move on from Please this do. one because I'm going to get yes. nightmares in here. Let's... I... <laughs> That's my face, Pearl. Mm. My mind loves yeah, my face. Yeah, I get face. nightmares looking at your face whenever we build, too. <laughs> so much different. Neighbors! Ah! Every... Right. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, sure you are. Okay, next, next room, room number three. We'll call this one the birch room. We have the a birch tree on the left and a, a very pretty kind of like little oak tree on the right with a couple of buttons and some TNT. I mean, let's let's not reveal anything else. Let's just mm -hmm. move out. That's it. Back up, Pearl. Mm -hmm. No spoilers over here. Nothing else to that room. That, that's have... all there is to it. It looks I, exactly that. That birch it tree. Looks, it looks oh, beautiful. I love it. Mm -hmm. Birch. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I hate birch. This place is incredible. I love this so much. Yeah, look at this. I it's there's so I'm much gonna, to explore move as well. There's so many little pathways to go down. And look at that room. Uh -huh. You have the complete contrasty room right here, which is the nether room with lava and netherrack and fire. This is not lush. Exactly. So 
Cool. So you might be like, but but what is this all about? This is gonna be there's gonna be a puzzle room mm-hmm. in the Nether, and who loves the Nether? Beatups loves the yeah. Nether. Yeah. What do you guys reckon? What think else? of like think of a trait of Beatups, and what might not be so good in the Nether? <laughs> yeah. And the final room. The final, the final room. room. Go through this. We're gonna what go through happens? this. What what do you, well, we can't tell them what happens, but I will kind of say we have. Eight a, ser- well, a series of horses. We have eight horses in little containment uh, cubicles, and a whole <laughs> bunch of trip wires that lead to dispensers. I wonder Whoopsie. what. Echo- oh, and of course we have this big door at the end of the room. What could that possibly hold? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. I mean, well, as it is, that's that's it. That's that's the tour. That's all five rooms. Felt felt kind of short, didn't it? This the- time it took. <laughs> It kind of felt short, and I mean, like we we spent how much, like two days building this we and planning. So uh, building so, this thing, and that's it. I think we gotta build some more rooms, Carolus. That's it. That's it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, there we go. We have oh. the. Uh, we've got. Let's call, let's call that one the stables. We got the stables room. We have the nether room, the bouncy horse room, Paralis. Mm-hmm. And Paralis. That's my favorite and one. And the tree. That's room. my favorite one. You know what? I think the bouncy no, horse no. one is my favorite. I love that as well. But Paralis, there's something about the beautiful skin we've mm, made and created. No, I this think, is I think we should move very far away from this room. Okay. I think it's time for us to leave the zoo. I've spent long enough down here and the comments you're making right now, I think I just wanna I'm just gonna go. Okay. You you come, have fun with the Paralis come. face. And uh, we'll be back the next time. No, oh gosh. We'll be back the next time we leave beat ups down here, okay? I'm I'm going before you. <laughs> don't don't <laughs> leave me hanging, Pearl. Maybe I don't want to be gonna die. again. Per- nay. I'm going, I'm okay. going. I'm just gonna I'm gonna catch up with you again when we bring beat ups through, okay? You have fun <laughs> seeing neighbors down there. Okay, it's fun. I'm gonna get Pearls. Bye, Pearl. Uh, bye, my girls. Neighbors. Oh. <laughs> Help me, guys, please. Oh my word. This was certainly an episode and a half. Because of everything that went on, how about we give a little bit of a recap to what exactly happened today? We started building the interior of the mega base. Looking fancy, by the way. Beautiful. The Lamada was brought back home from their vacation around the server, and we also restocked our shop with uh, a bit of a new product, which, uh, honestly, speaking of, did we make any sales in, in this episode? Doink! <gasps> oh, guys! Okay, look, I didn't expect to sell four ingots. 20 diamonds for... Uh, guys, we're making in the bank right here. Oh, that's a whole stack and a bit. I think it's safe to say that we are raking in the moolah right now, eh? Yeah, yeah, yes. Oh boy, that's a lot of diamonds. Oh, yay. What the... No, 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 no. Oh. Not again. Come on, guys. I just I just wanted to make my diamonds into blocks. There was another creeper in here. This, um, How is this llama still alive? How are you still alive? You are an absolute tank. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, we keep getting creepers uh, hopping in the boat. That needs to be fixed. All I wanted to do was make my diamonds into blocks. This is fine. This is fine. I'm just gonna ignore the fact that I just blew yet another hole in my boat. We're gonna combine these into some blocks and I'm actually gonna go add these to the hourglasses because, you know, of course, I was just looking a little bit dismal and we kinda need to do so. Oh my gosh. This is what happens when I don't pay attention to the hourglasses and I focus on everything else on the server. Uh, okay, that's too many diamonds. There's no way he's gotten that many diamonds since we were last at the hourglasses. There is no way. I'm thinking this might be hollow. Like, th- look, I can already tell. Look, that's not even symmetrical. These are also a lot shorter than the last time I was here. They were like three times the size and his diamonds are no longer down there. So he's moved everything up here and made the rest of us look terrible. Hold on, let's go around the back. Mm-hmm. I thought so. I knew it. It's all hollow and he's even got some wood in the middle. <laughs> oh man, he's trying. He's, he's, he's trying. He wants to look like the big gun, but you know what? We're going to get more diamonds than that and it's going to be solid. Didn't realize deep slate and copper was a commodity to put in the hourglass, but okay. <laughs> I'm just going to put mine straight in the top this time and maybe we can kind of Get green at his own game here and do, do a little bit of this, you know? 
we get, we're also going to do a little bit of the uh, slightly hollow part at the start. Only just a tad though. Only just a few blocks. There we go. I don't have many. I don't have as many as Green does, but you know what? It's a start. There we go. A few more extra diamonds in the bank to uh, put under our name. It's not looking too bad. I'm coming for you, Green. I'm coming for you, buddy. Well, now that we've added our little surprise from the shop successes into the hourglass, let's keep going with our summary of what we did today, shall we? So we also added these pathways around Bodum, which are looking real good right now, and they're going to look even better once they're decorated, but it's going to get Bodum kicked into high gear and uh, really get this uh, shopping district for Bodum Incorporated started. I seriously cannot wait to see how this area develops. It's going to be so cool. It's going to be so, so cool. To which then, of course, we move to the portal during the process and the more that I look at this little tiny ship on top the more that I like it I wasn't sure about it at first but just you know just over time I think it's really cute <laughs> I really think it's so cute I'm, I'm pretty happy with this so we move the portal it's looking a little bit more snazzy than it did over there with the bone blocks I'm liking that and of course, we also made the sewer system beneath Cogsworth Manor with the five puzzle rooms. I cannot wait to see B-dubs go through those rooms and see the twists that we've also kind of put within them. I think it's going to be so much fun. But that is going to be in the next episode. With all that said, guys, thank you all so, so much for watching the episode today. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know in the comments below. And if you have any feedback for the video, please let me know in the comments below. But for now, it's bye bye and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, guys. Goodbye. Bye.